stop. Kratos, don't get in our way. Hear me out. The Deris Carlon core system just finished calculating its answer. If you form the pact with the summoned spirit, the protection around the Great Seed will be completely lost. And that's exactly what we desire. Don't you understand? What you're hoping for will not happen. Silence! Do you think we'll pass up this opportunity? Lloyd! Leave him to me. Go now. Form the pact with the summoned spirit of light. This is it. The protection around the Great Seed will finally fall after this pact. We're counting on you, Sheena. You got it. I am Sheena. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos, and establish a new pact with me. Where is Asuka? He'll come. He promised. I see. Then all is well. I shall test thy worthiness to wield my power. Show me thy true strength. Oh, 
State thy vow upon which thou wilt base our pact. I vow to germinate the great seed in order to realize the true regeneration of both worlds. We accept thy vow. Our power is thine. You did it! No!
what's happening. Oh my god. Is that the giant Carlon tree? That person. I feel like I've met her somewhere before. Martel. Martel? That woman about to be consumed by the tree is Martel? She reminds me of someone. She reminds me of... Why would Martel reappear with that giant grotesque tree? I was afraid this would happen. What do you mean? Having lost the stability afforded by the protection of the summoned spirits, the Great Seed has gone out of control. No! The purpose of the summoned spirits was to isolate the Great Seed from the outside world and prevent it from growing. That was only half of it. The two worlds were forced out of phase by Yggdrasil. They should have drifted apart from each other and have been consumed by the Void. But this was prevented from happening because the Great Seed was placed in the center between the two worlds. I don't need a lecture from you to know that. The Great Seed is constantly being pulled upon from both worlds as they try to separate from one another. It's a miracle that this delicate balance held up for even this long. Wait, so the Mana Link served as a cage to contain the Great Seed in the space between the two worlds? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. And because you provided the unstable Great Seed with mana, it germinated in a twisted form and has gone out of control. It's even engulfed Martel. Who cares why this happened? I want to know what's going to happen if we can't stop this thing. If what Kratos says is true, then Silverot will be consumed and destroyed by the Great Seed. And if Silveron is destroyed, Tethayala will be destroyed as well, as it is linked by the Holy Ground of Karlon and the Otherworldly Gate. Then... Everyone will die. Everyone, except that twisted tree and the angels that live on Daris Carlon. We have to do something! But what can we do? Ewan, how do you plan to rectify this situation? We can cut off the mana flow and stop the seed from receiving any more mana. But that won't subdue the giant tree. The process has already begun. Is the giant tree going crazy like that in Tethayala too? Highly unlikely. Although I imagine they are feeling some effects, such as earthquakes. That makes sense. Because Colette activated the process of world regeneration, the summoned spirits of Silveront are now active. Therefore, the giant tree was drawn over here by Silveront's summoned spirits. Correct. The summoned spirits exchange their respective roles of yin and yang each time a chosen's quest for world regeneration succeeds. Currently, the summoned spirits of Silverant are carrying out the role of Yang by providing the mana. But because the giant tree has overabsorbed Silverant's mana, it has gone out of control. If that's the case, couldn't we neutralize it? By blasting it with the power of the opposing summoned spirits? Whoa, Lloyd! You actually understood what we were talking about? Shut it, Genus! Professor once said that the negative and positive of a magnet neutralize each other. This is kind of the same thing, right? That's not quite right, Lloyd. But nonetheless, it's a clever idea coming from you. Even if we did decide to try and set the summon spirits of Tetheala against it, how are we going to go about doing that? We can't get close to that crazy thing the way it is now. The mana cannon. Mana cannon? That machine Rodile was building? We were actually manipulating Rodile into building that. Before the mana link started to disappear, we planned to have Rodile destroy the Tower of Salvation. So you're suggesting we feed the mana of Tethayala's Summon Spirits into the Mana Cannon and fire it at the giant tree. Hmm. I suppose there's no better option right now. First, we need to shut off the current flow of mana to the tree. It'll be too late if the tree grows any larger. Then here's the plan. Ewan, I'm going to pretend I don't know who you've been working with or what you've been doing. In exchange, you're going to order the Renegades to stop firing mana at the tree immediately. Meanwhile, Lloyd's group will head for the mana cannon. All right. It's not possible, sir. Forsistus has executed our Asalia Ranch infiltration team. What does that mean? The Asalia Ranch is still operational. We had people working undercover switch over the mana flow. In other words, we have to infiltrate the place right now and stop the flow. Then I shall go. You? Are you suggesting we should send you, our enemy, to do this by yourself? I'll send some of my men. Preparations for the Mana Cannon. 
the shutdown of the mana reactors throughout the world. There are too many things we need the renegades to do. You don't have enough troops to do everything. I'll go. Wait, what are you saying? We have to head for the mana cannon. You and the renegades can take care of the mana cannon. Kratos and the rest of us will infiltrate the Isalia Ranch. Fire the mana cannon when we give you the word. You wouldn't be able to trust the signal if it came from Kratos alone, right? Well, that's true, but... Is it about Chocolat? That's right. Chocolat is held at the Isalia Ranch. Lloyd, you remembered your promise. All right. We'll leave it to you, then. Don't let us down. Let's go, guys. Thank you. 